the purpose of this uh, video is to de demonstrate uh, the use of the supportability tool KE4ST which is used to simulate billing documents. So as you can see the title says here simulate billing document transfer. So first we will select the billing document. Then we will execute. Now you can see the line items to be simulated are available and you can see in the menu bar you have four options characteristics, valuation, uh, valuation with profit center view and the value flow. So let us see one by one in this particular example profit center valuation is not available but we can see the other three. So we first select this line item and then we click on characteristics. So now we see all the characteristics with their values and to in order to display the derivation analysis we can click on this button. So you can see now the complete uh, derivation flow if you scroll down. So what is highlighted in yellow are the derivation steps which are executed. What is highlighted in light blue are the derivation steps which are executed but which does not get any values. And what is not highlighted is the derivation steps which did not get executed. So here if you expand, you can see the complete derivation step if you expand. You can also see the derivation steps where the derivation did not happen. Yeah, maybe the values were not available in the table. That is why it could not find this value. And we check why something has not been derived. This already contains a value. So most likely in the attributes of the derivation rule it was flagged that do not derive a value if value already exists. So you can use this and then compare it with your KEDR customizing in order to check how the derivation happened. So now let's look at the value flow. The value flow will basically show you the values flowing from ST to COPA based on your KE4I customizing. So here you can see the currencies, you can see the different SD conditions, the GL accounts, the cost element types, whether they are statistical or not, and the values, the currency and the value field. So this will be based on KE4I customizing and you can map this, match this with whatever you have done in your KE4I transaction. So finally we will see the valuation. Now this is based on your valuation strategy in transaction KE for you. You will see that you have material costing first then a costing sheet and then a user exit. So by clicking here you can get the details of each. So this will show you the costing keys, how they have been derived. So you can see how the costing key is derived here. 
this shows you the details of the costing sheet so you can see the complete costing sheet here which uh, conditions are active which are inactive and then the user exit this clicking here will tell you what the user exit has changed so you can see here no values were changed now let's see the result of valuation so initially you see the values that were passed from sd to copa including the quantities then you see the uh, material costing which has happened and then last you see the costing sheet so if you want the details then you have to click on these buttons here so uh, here you can see how this value was filled and you can display the material cost estimate the costing key the value filled assignments So now you can see this is the cost component values which were passed to Copa. You can display the costing key. So you can see the details of the costing key which was used to access the material cost estimate. this shows you the value fields assignment to the uh, cost component structure and then you can do the same thing with the costing sheet as well so you can display the condition types the access sequences the costing sheet and the analysis of the costing sheet and see how the values were passed so this is a very useful tool for us to simulate the billing document transfer to copa to see the derivation of the characteristics the value flow from sd to copa and as well as the valuation this should help you to solve most of your issues in copa uh, during billing